Welcome guys to the second part of this uh, tutorial. So what we're going to do now is to receive these form values and push them to PHP or uh, rather to ha have them stored or handled by PHP variables. So in order for us to do that, let us introduce two um, crucial attributes. One of them is method and for method we're going to use the post method. Read about post and get method and uh, you know, just try and see how different they are. Then we are going to introduce action, which we are going to pass the user reg.php, which is the same file name here. Why are we doing this? Because we want to have our PHP script inside this file that already has HTML. So I'm going to create PHP here. So my script goes in there. And I'll begin by creating some variables. One of them is going to be called, let me call it fn. And I'm going to use the post method here to pass the value that is in the first name text box. So I'll put that on there. Then I will uh, repeat the same for the other entries. So for last name, let me use ln to change this to point to the exact name here. So that is going to be f name. Sorry last name then we have email and then finally we have password i'm going to i prefer to use plus and change this on to password good and now we can test if the values have been posted so i can just do a simple test so the uh, acceptable one but well just for trials. So let's see if, uh, in fact, just use echo and echo, let's say ln. So if the form posted posts the value successfully, then we are going to print the value that is in ln. So let me use that and uh, let me use an email. Okay, undefined. Uh, this is coming about because we did not reload this form. The same. You can see it has posted for us this. 